Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to speed up our workflow using hotkeys in 3ds Max. In 3ds Max, we can find many sets of keyboards and mouse shortcuts known as hotkeys. Almost every key on your keyboard has a function assigned to it, and you can find a list of all the hotkeys and also edit them in a window called the Hotkey Editor, which is found in the Customize menu. We're not going to see how to edit hotkeys in this tutorial, but the editor is really intuitive and easy to use. The main thing to note is that hotkeys are content sensitive. This means that the function of a hotkey can change depending on the tool or mode you are currently using. Each hotkey command has a group column, indicating that the hotkey depends on your current tool or mode. Because hotkeys are content sensitive, there's a global switch to override the sub hotkeys. On the main toolbar, there's a button called Keyboard Shortcut Override Toggle, which is on by default. When it's on, all the keyboard shortcuts work in the specific context. If the button is off, only the main user interface hotkeys will be active, and all the other hotkeys will be disabled. If you ever find your keyboard shortcuts are not working properly, check this button. Now, we need to remember that almost every key is bound to a command. Pressing a random key without knowing its function may issue an unknown command. If this ever happens to you, you can use the on the buffer to find out what command was issued. For example, if you move an object, you can right click on the on the or read the button on the main toolbar to see a history of the recent commands. This can help you to identify the command and the shortcut used. Okay, now let's take a look at some of the most common keyboard shortcuts. We can press W to use the Move tool. We can also press Q to select objects. The Rotate tool is E, and the Scale tool is R. We can also resize the Transform gizmo by pressing the Equal sign to enlarge it, and the Hyphen or Dash key to reduce the size. For viewport navigation, use the middle mouse button to pan. Hold down Shift while panning to constrain to vertical or horizontal. To orbit, use Alt plus middle mouse button. Add Shift to constrain the orbit to one axis. To zoom, use Ctrl plus Alt plus middle mouse or simply scroll the mouse wheel. The grid and the snap shortcuts are also really useful. Press G to hide or unhide the grid in the current view. You can press S to activate snaps. Enable snapping to grid points. To enable angle snap, which constrains rotation to 5 degree increments by default, press A. These are the most common keyboards and mouse shortcuts for 3ds Max. Spend some time getting familiar with these hotkeys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.